I almost quit. I was like, man, I'm going home. <laughs> I was like, I'm going home, it's too hard, it's not for me. It was a rough, rough year for me. Um, got, end up getting a medical red shirt. I had to get surgery on my groin and things like that. It was, it was really tough. I had a coach uh, by the name of Thomas Hammond. Uh, and I appreciate him more now than I did. And he just talked to me, he was like, look, I'm gonna be hard on you, but you know, you need it. And boy, is he right. You know, when I learned how to work, I just, I just started growing as a player. And it, it helped, he was hard on me, man. It was tough, it was challenging. But my coach always used to tell me, it's cool if you beat everybody, every running back that's here, or every wide receiver in conditioning drills or whatever, it's cool if you beat them. That's fine. You want to be the best player on your team. But what about that back that's over there in Georgia? What about that back over there in Alabama? What are they doing that you don't see them doing? You know, When you work out, you got to think about them as well. And that's what I used to do. I had Todd Gurley, Amir, Tevin Coleman. When I would work out, I would think about those guys, not just my group. I would do whatever I can to beat every running back that I was that I was with. That was my goal. I'm beating everybody there. But I used to work extra hard because I didn't know what that guy at that other school was doing. So I wanted to know for sure when I stepped on that field or if I ever had an opportunity to go against that guy, I was gonna be better than you. So I would tell freshmen, don't just compete against the guys that surround you. Learn to compete with everybody in the nation and keep those guys in mind.